Lord is risen indeed. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God, saying, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which he ought to have done, and we have done those things which he ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But you, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant the most merciful Father for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desires not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, has given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all those who truly repent and genuinely believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, let us beg him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The first lesson is taken from the book of Daniel, chapter 7, beginning at the ninth verse. As I looked, thrones were placed, and the Ancient of Days took his seat. His clothing was white as snow and the hair of his head like pure wool. And his throne was fiery flames, and wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and came out from before him. A thousand thousand served him, and then ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. And the court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. And I saw in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven, there came one like a son of man, and he came to the Ancient of Days, and was presented before him. And to him was given dominion, and glory, and a kingdom, that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. And his dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom one shall not be destroyed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the second lesson is taken from St. Paul's Epistle to the Ephesians, chapter 4, beginning at the first verse. I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it says, when he ascended on high, he led a host of captives and he gave gifts to men. In saying he ascended, what does it mean but that he had also descended into the lower regions, the earth? He who descended is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and the teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fulfillness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness and deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head into Christ and from whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped and when each part is working properly makes the body grow so that it builds up itself in love this is the word of the Lord thanks be to God of the Apostles' Creed, let us confess our faith together. Christian, what do you believe? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sit upon the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O Almighty God, who alone can order the unruly wills and affections of sinful men, Grant unto your people that they may love the things which you command, and desire that which you promise, that so, among the varied and many changes in the world, our hearts may be firmly established, where we true joys are to be found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Almighty Father, who has given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification, grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth, through the merits of the same your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grant, we beg you, Almighty God, that as we do believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we may also in heart and mind there ascend, and with him continually dwell, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. O most mighty and merciful God, to whom alone belong the issues of life and death, in this time of grievous sickness we flee unto you for relief. Deliver us, we beg you, from our peril. Give strength and skill to your ministers of healing. Bless the means of cure, and grant that, perceiving how frail is our earthly life, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, the high and mighty ruler of the universe, who does from your throne behold all the dwellers upon earth. Most heartily we beg you with your favor to behold and bless your servant Donald Trump, our president, our senate and representatives in Congress assembled, Philip Murphy, the governor of our state, and all others in authority. And so replenish them with the grace of your Holy Spirit, that they may always incline to your will and walk in your way and do them plenteously with heavenly gifts. Grant them in health and prosperity long to live, and finally after this life to attain everlasting joy and happiness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the strong tower and refuge of your people, we entreat your favor upon the officers and all who have been enlisted in the service of defense of our country. Ever spare them from being ordered into a war of aggression or oppression. Use them, if need be, as your instruments in the defense of our national life and liberty. But restrain, we beg you, the greed and wrath of man, that wars may cease in all the earth. Watch over also all policemen and law enforcement officers everywhere. Protect them from harm in the performance of their duty. We beg also for firefighters, first responders, and health care workers who protect us and ours from all types of danger. Give these men and women the courage and skill to carry out their duties well and safely. When they must go into the face of danger, be by their side. Watch over their families, reminding them that those who go into danger are in your loving care. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops, especially Foley, Ray, and Chuck, and other clergy, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the helpful spirit of your grace, that they may truly please you, pour upon them the continual dew of your blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our Advocate and Mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the Creator and Preserver of all mankind, we humbly beg you for all sorts and conditions of men, that you would be pleased to make your ways known unto them, your saving health unto all nations. More especially we pray for your Holy Church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by your good spirit that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to your fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate, especially those for whom our prayers are desired. We lift before you, Lord, St. John's and other churches who are going through financial struggles at this time as we are not meeting together. We pray, Lord, you will bring about the ability for churches to meet together safely and that when we do come together, our focus will not be on worries about this or that, but to be on you and lifting your praise up. 
first and foremost. I lift up to you, Lord, my mother, who is in the hospital the fourth time in this past month. We pray, Lord, that you will give the nurses wisdom and doctors wisdom to figure out through her testing what exactly is wrong. And I pray, Lord, that she can return to better health. I lift up to you, Lord Dolores Mitchell, the family of Louis Fiordamondo, Bryce Myers, Kelly and Richard Gafter and Buddy. We pray for our friends and family who own businesses that have been so greatly affected by the viruses, especially Heather and Al, Larry, Mark, Roy, and Bill. We pray, Lord, for Rachel Rosenberg, and we give thanks to you, Lord, for the good news that Frank sent out this week, that there are no signs of cancer now on her liver. We pray for her continued health. We pray, Lord, for Sydney, Dominic, Heather and Grace, Ariel and Oliver, for Noah, for Jonathan and Brian. And we give special thanks, Lord, for Ariel as she has been able to receive her master's degree. We pray, Lord, for those in Grace Scranton, for Ron, who is in hospice, for Jean, for Teresa's brother, Tim, recovering from colon surgery, for Ted and Midge, for Kelly and Eliza Arp, for all those who have risked sickness to provide for others in this time. We pray, Lord, for all those who have been so greatly affected by the coronavirus. That it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants to give them the hearty thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that our hearts may be truly thankful and that we may declare your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through jesus christ our lord to whom with you and the holy spirit be all honor and glory now and forever amen almighty god you have promised to hear the petition of those who ask in your son's name mercifully accept us who have now made our prayers and petitions to you and grant us those things which we have asked in faith according to your will through jesus christ our lord amen, amen. The, the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy ghost be with us all evermore amen this is cardinal st john's by cg Thank you for visiting J. John's Spicy Church. One, two, three, two, one. Please remember to support your local parish at this time, especially as most parishes are not able to meet together. It's easy not to remember. If you are part of the St. John's family or you wish to support our ministry, you may do so at the link below or by mailing your checks to St. John's Church. Also, while you're checking out below, please, if you are not subscribed already, please subscribe to St. John's by the Sea and click on the bell icon after you subscribe. Also, feel free to like the videos. That's always a nice thing, and it helps the videos to get promoted through YouTube. Thank you for visiting St. John's by the Sea Church. This is John Spicy Church and Carter. This is Carter and Noah. Say John Spicy Church. Say John Oh.
Thank you for this. Thank you for visiting St. John's Spicy Church. Okay. Thank this is Noam Carter. Thank you for visiting St. John's Spicy Church. And this is Carter and Noah.